Hey, it's Zana. Welcome back to Solo Trip podcast and if you're new here I'm Zana I'm an independent music artist and I write record and produce my own music I'm just trying to like introduce myself in these videos now because I realize that I never actually do so if you find me through YouTube then you will have no clue who I am or the podcast apps but yeah so I'm excited to film this video because today I just launched my merch company called Solar Trip and we're in one of the items right now if you can see that all links to everything my music and everything will be in the description box below but I still wanted to come on and film this video even though I'm super hyped right now I'm really excited for my clothing company but I figured what better time to come here and talk about productivity and content and do like another episode of life of an entrepreneur series because I haven't done that in a while and just talk about everything business which is my kind of element you know I feel like I don't need to worry about getting things wrong with this because I study the shit out of building a business I study the shit out of building a brand and it's just like my heart and soul is everything that I'm doing right now like living the dream cre or creating the dream at least so I want to talk to you guys if you're wanting to start a business if you already have if you're like it doesn't really matter what industry it's in because I feel like it applies to everyone even if you're going to work for somebody else even if you're like at university or college or school or whatever it is I feel like all of this can apply to you because you can kind of take the little bits that you need and then like because it's really about connection so I feel like no matter what it is that you're doing, you'll use this in some way, you know? And for me, one of the main things starting out was like scheduling and being productive and like creating routines and all of that kind of stuff, especially with the amount of information that I was taking in when it came to like the spiritual teachings and esoteric and occult knowledge and ancient and all of this kind of stuff, you know. I feel like I could go down a whole rabbit hole if I start talking about that now, but just the amount of like information and things that I was taking in and the amount of time I was spending and still am spending on that and then trying to build a business and then having to work like a normal job part-time to be able to fund everything it can kind of get overwhelming and like being productive and wanting to put out content and wanting to do all of these things you know like dipping your toes in all of these different places and different ideas it can kind of get a bit overwhelming and then when it comes to like structuring your days and being on time and all of this you can kind of not know where to start or how to go about it and stuff especially with all of the marketing videos that are out there it's all about like content 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 and like you need to hustle hard you need to do this you need to do that and everything and it kind of keeps you busy and like constantly doing things you know and I really felt like if I was taking time to like if I took a day off to have a bath which is not a full day obviously I don't spend it all day in the bath but if I took like a couple of hours to go have a bath or if I took the day off to just relax and like meditate and chill and just like recharge I would feel so guilty and I would like beat myself up about it and then I'd be in a bad mood so the day off that could have been like really calming and recharging ends up just being miserable and like grumpy and fed up and feeling like I've just wasted the whole day you know so I realized that we are kind of in a in a world right now where everything is about doing and everything is about go 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 and like fast paced and trying to get money as fast as possible and trying to like get the dream lifestyle you know like I feel like that is kind of the main goal for most people you know especially if you have to work your ass off for things you obviously want the luxuries and the ability to like live a comfortable life you know where you're not stressing about bills and you're not worrying about everything so I don't know I think everything is really pushing us to literally burn ourselves out literally burn ourselves out and then like work so hard that we can't like do anything or that we feel guilty if we take a day off you know and but then I also know that there is a message of like 
it's about happiness because I watch a lot of um, Gary V videos and stuff and lots of other people too but one thing that I took from him was about content and like being consistent and you have to work hard and you have to just keep going you know because we always give up right before something good is about to happen you end up just stopping and giving up and stuff and I realised that is something that I've done so many times where I would just give up and I realise now if I'd have carried on going, it probably would have gone somewhere, you know? I can't remember who said it, but there was someone said this quote about um the only the only how oh god, how did they say it? It was something like the only way you'll fail is if you give up. Something like that. Where literally basically you will succeed if you just keep going, you know, like success is inevitable if you just keep going. But if you give up it's just never gonna happen is it kind of thing you know but I do feel like it can seem like you have to burn yourself out and you have to keep going and keep like pushing content over and over again but I really realized that actually it's not that you have to do everything and do so much of it it's that you have to try it like you literally just have to trial and error it and figure out what works for you you know like there's so many times where I've put out content and then a few months later I've taken it back down but if I didn't create those pieces of content because you could say that's a waste of time but if I didn't create those like that was almost like the warm-up of getting comfortable on camera so if I didn't create those I would not be sitting here right now feeling okay to be on camera you know you've probably seen in some of my previous videos that are still up where I'm constantly talking about feeling nervous feeling like I can't do it and all of this kind of stuff that's been a battle for absolute years but if I didn't film those previous videos I probably wouldn't be sitting here completely fine you know like with people in my house which normally would freak me the fuck out and I just wouldn't film but now like it's actually fine because I feel I guess it's like being more comfortable in your own skin isn't it like feeling comfortable to just speak your truth regardless of what somebody else has to say and I think that applies to so many different industries and directions and well literally to everyone it doesn't matter what you're doing you know it's about being comfortable in your own skin and finding what works best for you like what you really want to do and that's what I'm really learning with creating anything that you want it doesn't even have to be to do with money or a business it could be absolutely anything just something that you're passionate about like it's just about really finding your lane and what you want and what feels good, you know? So like, I make music and music is like my thing that I give to the world kind of thing. I don't know how else to really explain that, but like, music is my thing, you know? It's my passion, that's what I was looking for, God's sake. <laughs> it's my passion, it's like the thing that excites me that I love to do and like writing lyrics and stuff, it's just so much fun, but like, I realised that I need to give more than just that, you know, and that's based on me and my preference and how I feel. So I sit here and I talk about all of these teachings and things that I understand. I talk about mental health and the mind, like I talk about all of these different things, but that's because it's something that I am passionate about and that I want to talk about, you know, like it's something I'm literally researching every damn day. So it makes sense that I would want to talk about it you know, and it makes sense that my Instagram posts would then be about it, because it's something that's a part of me, it's literally like an aspect of myself that I'm sharing, so it's like, whatever you want to do, it has to be authentic, like it has to be about you, and what you're passionate about, and what you love to do, so whether it's music, whether it's clothing, whether it's food, whether it's whatever, like you don't have to stick to one thing you can incorporate all of the things that you love but I feel like it really is trial and error to find that out you know because I thought at one point I wanted to do makeup tutorials because I love makeup I love doing makeup but then when I tried to do some tutorials before I realized like I don't even have that many products. I literally use the same makeup over and over again. And I do the similar like go-to looks and I only switch it up every now and then. So I realize like, I love makeup, but I'm not passionate about showing people how to do it. Cause I don't feel like I even can do it that amazing. I just taught myself from YouTube, you know? So it's like, I don't know. I think you just have to try things 
try things that you are passionate about because I do love makeup and I was passionate about it when I tried to do it but like you have to take that step forward in order to know whether it will resonate with you whether it will excite you you know and you could do it like five times and absolutely love it and then on the sixth time you're like over it you know so I feel like you have to just keep trying and while you're enjoying it keep doing it and then as soon as it starts to feel not fun you take a break and you just keep trying all of these different directions because even with me with music sometimes I'm like I don't feel like writing today you know like you can never actually be inspired and ready to do all of these things constantly and I think that's like a really key thing for me is like you don't need to pressurize yourself you can take the pressure off on all of that like everything to do with whatever it is that you want to do in every direction in every aspect you can take the pressure off because your opinion is going to change your perception is going to change like how you feel is going to change how productive you're feeling that day is going to change what you want to do is going to change what you like changes you know if you think about a few years ago i'm sure you like different things to what you like then i'm sure you dress differently or you do your hair differently or like everything changes constantly and i'm really preaching to myself right now and i'm realizing it as i say it <laughs> because we do we put so much pressure on ourselves and we forget that like it's actually okay to not feel like doing something one day, you know? And it's actually okay to change direction. It's okay to want to do something else. It's okay, like all of it is okay. And even though I agree that content is key and you have to keep going and be consistent with it, it doesn't mean that you have to burn yourself out or that you have to do something that you no longer enjoy, you know? Like you have to just switch it up. And I also feel like, when it comes to your target audience or your customer or whoever it is, like if they like you, no matter what niche it is that you're in, if they like you, then no matter which direction you go in, they're going to want to go in it with you because they like you, you know, it's not so much about the niche. And obviously like some people may not because they're only there for that specific niche that you're in like if you're giving tutorials or something then obviously they want to see that but at the same time like there's so many goddamn tutorials out there now i feel like youtube is really about personality and really about who you are rather than what it is that you do you know because there's just so many people putting out videos so what makes people keep going to you is for you literally so I know, I feel like I'm kind of going off all over the place with this video now. I always end up going in directions that I didn't expect, but I feel like these messages are really important because we're in a time now where anyone can do whatever they want. Like you can literally create any kind of life that you want now. And obviously you have to work for it and there's going to be obstacles and it's not going to be easy. Like I am not sitting here saying it's easy. Believe me, I know it's not easy, but it's so possible. And if you're passionate about it, then you'll want to do it. And it won't matter what obstacle comes in your way. You'll just keep going, keep finding new directions, you know. People used to say to me before, a few years ago at least, when, um, like, that I changed direction too much or that I, like, I used to go to do it, always to do with music, but I would, like, change direction quite a bit, you know. Like, I was in a girl group at one point and stuff. So... I have had it said to me that I am like I'm always changing my mind and it's like I realize now when they first said it to me I felt really like almost shamed like I felt kind of embarrassed and a bit shamed for it but now I realize like no that's I'm still on the same path that was me just finding my way to here you know like if I didn't do all of those things I would not be sitting here right now creating everything exactly as I want to you know like it would not be happening so you have to go through all of these turns try different things out you know and I loved okay I forgot my phone was on loud this is because I just launched my company so obviously my phone is like let me put that on silent um what was I saying <laughs> Oh yeah, so I like loved all of the paths that I took, all of the things that I was doing, like the girl group and everything, I loved doing it at the time. But you know when something ends and then you're like, oh shit, what do I do now? 
and you have to figure out your next move. So like when you go to take that next move, to the outside world it can look like you're going all over the place and you keep failing over and over again but really you're always on that same path you're always going in the same direction because it's always leading you exactly to where you need to be you know so like there's no reason to feel shame or guilty or embarrassed or anything about trying something and then it not working out even if you're in it for years and then you decide you don't like it. Like there's literally nothing wrong with changing your mind because it really is about what you enjoy, what you love, what feels good, you know? And that changes, that literally changes. I don't know what I'm gonna call this video. Maybe change, <laughs> everything changes. But yeah, so I realized that like, I had to put out tons of content Honestly, sometimes I will put out so much content and then other times I will put out none. So even with that, I realised like you have to try it. I had to try all of these different levels where I put out three videos a week. Then I put out none for ages. Then I'll put out one a week and like you just have to kind of try it and see what works best for you. So I feel like literally my advice or my perception of the way that like social media is and how to build a brand or how to build a company when you're doing it on social media and online is to literally just try the consistency, the quality, the path, the direction, the everything. Try all of your ideas and see which feels better, you know? So for me, I'm trying to find the comfortability in doing one video a week, but I kind of feel like that's not enough and I want to do two, but then I'm allowing myself to not pressurize myself to do two because then I'll just fall off and do none because I'll put too much pressure on so let's just leave it at one for now you know like you take the pressure off and you just let yourself try the things you know so you can try all of these directions and see which one feels better and you may find that you go around in a bit of a loop and you try them many times before you find the one that feels the best and that's completely fine like that's completely okay you know we just have to trial and error everything and it's okay to need to like take a step back and rest and allow yourself to recharge and recoup and like figure out the next move you know i just think failure doesn't even exist honestly because like one person can tell me that i look like i'm going all over the place somebody else could tell me that I look like I'm going after my dream or something, you know, like, it doesn't really matter. So it really is just about you and what you want and how, how you feel along the journey, you know, and also being able to take those self-care moments and realise that that's not a, like, that's not a being unproductive. That's actually being very productive, you know, like, if you take that time to meditate, recharge, rest your mind, like it allows so many new ideas to come in, the amount of new ideas that I've got in a moment where I was trying to get my mind to shut up and it wouldn't and then new ideas would just pop up, you know, because I'm allowing myself to just be calm. Even if the mind is racing, I'm allowing my body and trying to like do the breathing and everything, you know, the breath counts where you like breathe in for five, hold your breath and then breathe back out for five. I would do some of those and then just new ideas and inspiration and stuff will come up but you have to allow yourself to take that time you know and it's not being unproductive it's not being uninspired or any of these things it's literally just putting yourself first because I do feel like even with school and with work and things like this and college and uni you're not allowed to take the time off when you need it like if you're having a sad day if you've got your heart broken you can't just be like, sorry, I'm not coming in today because I'm heartbroken, you know? <laughs> Can you imagine what they would say? Like, you just can't do that unless you, like, pull a sickie or something. You can't really get the time off. So I just think that in, in our collective, in the society right now, we're kind of conditioned to have to do things and move and hustle when we don't want to, when we don't feel like it, when we feel unwell, when we feel unmotivated or when we're sad, like we still have to get up and go and that's so toxic and such a like negative thing and a negative conditioning that we like get programmed with especially in the school years because I guess you can't often tell when a child's actually being serious about like wanting the day off 
you know like you can't always tell whether they're really feeling sad or whether they're just trying to not go in you know but school's a whole other topic because I don't even like the school system anyway but I'm just trying to say that like I just feel like self-care is neglected to be honest when it especially when it comes to hustling and productivity and like chasing a goal or something even when it comes to chasing the dream body that you want you know like having rest days and stuff like that or having cheat days people can literally feel guilty for that and feel shamed for that and stuff when really I don't know I just think it's about feeling good so whatever feels good is what you need to do and if you're having a sad day then you shouldn't have to force yourself or beat yourself up for not being as productive as you want you know so yes I feel like let me check my list of notes <laughs> I feel like I got everything off the list yeah oh there was one thing about connecting authentically like I realized that when it comes to content and when it even when it comes to like any kind of company it really is about connecting with people and being authentic so that is why they're drawn to your videos as I said before but like it's also about no matter what platform you use or what it is that you're trying to do like you could just tweet uh, like your thoughts or your opinion or a sad moment that you're experiencing and that can really resonate with somebody else you know or you could post something funny and that really resonates with somebody or like you could post an Instagram meme or something you know what I mean like I just think it's really about connecting with people and us just kind of literally just feeling good together like empowering each other supporting each other building each other up like it's not like you running a company and these are your little minions that you want to come and buy from you it's like no we're all connected we're all on the same level we're all like sharing our day and our thoughts and our emotions together do you know what i mean so it's like authentic connection and building each other up so yeah someone could support my music but i also want to know what it is that you do like what passions do you have? What do you want to do when you leave college or school? Or or like, do you want to quit your job? What do you want to do, you know? What job do you work in? So it's just, I don't know, I just feel like it's more about authentic connection and not just putting your shit out there and hoping that people will support you. Because really, it doesn't work like that, you know? No one's going to support you if they don't actually know who you are, literally. So yeah i hope this video was helpful a little bit <laughs> i'm so hype i don't even know how to control myself and i don't know if i said everything i mean i said everything from my notes but that doesn't mean i said any everything from my mind <laughs> so hmm. but i can always make another video on it so thank you so much for listening and watching i really really appreciate it and i'm so excited for this merch company to launch ah, i can't believe it launched like 10 minutes ago <laughs> I'm really excited but yeah so all of my links to purchase my merch listen to my music and you can follow me on Instagram and all of that stuff all my social media will be in the description box below come say hi like like I said it is about authentic connection so I want to get to know you as well this is not about come follow me I'm a god or anything like this like no I want to know what you're doing this is a it's a friendship literally it's a friendship so all my links will be in the description box below and yes until the next video thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one bye oh yeah i think you like me yeah i'm icy cooling in that white tea oh yeah i think you like me yeah i'm icy cooling in that white tea oh yeah i think you might i'm the thing you like in my range all white Think he might, I'm the thing he like, in my range, oh why?